All right, what we're doing is we're using this thing called the tape measure. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, what we have here is a seriously heavy duty piece of steel. I mean, I am not kidding you. This is a two by two piece of tubular steel that has quarter inch walls. It is incredibly, incredibly thick, heavy, and strong. And uh, uh, it is apparently 10 foot one and one half inches. We want to cut it in half. We're actually going to use this. We're going to cut it in half and use the two pieces to prop underneath our gigantic thousand pound UPS inside so that we can jack it up, get the raised flooring out from under it, and put a uh, pallet underneath it so we can move it around. So, uh, so should I remove Abby Chihuahua? Abby is not going uh, to Abby like Chihuahua this. Abby Chihuahua is probably not going to like this. She would she probably is, jump out of your arms as soon as it started. She will freak out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave you to... Yeah. So here's the thing, okay? If you're going to cut a piece of heavy duty steel, you need a serious piece of equipment. And we're about to use one right here. This bad boy right here. This is called a Raptor. It's made by Evolution. It's called a Raptor. This is a steel cutting saw. This is not the kind of saws that you find like at Home Depot, like a chop saw, where it uses a disc and friction and you see sparks everywhere and all that stuff and it takes like an hour to cut something. No, that's not what we're doing here. This is an actual metal cutting saw with a metal cutting blade. You notice the uh, safety mechanism there. But when I pull this back, this blade is designed specifically to slice through steel. And I'll tell you what, David Foster, you've never seen anything quite like this. So here's how it works. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is uh, open this clamp up. So we've gotta get it to where we can, we can fit a two inch tubular steel in it. Normally I would do this like on a bench, but hey, we're gonna do it on the ground because we can. You'd think I would have had this ready before you started the video, except that I didn't know we were gonna do a video, so you guys get it raw here. Yep, we're on the fly. On the fly, on the fly video, no, no holds barred. Now, I'm about to catch a whole bunch of flack from some people because, uh, you know, of what I'm wearing while I'm doing this. Safety first. These are my OSHA approved uh, sandals. Those are actually steel toes. Those are steel toes, not steel toe sandals. They're just steel toes. Don't do this at home, people. This is the stupidest thing you could ever do. But you don't have one of these freaking chop saws, so who cares, right? If you had a $500 you know, dollar Raptor chop saw, then you could do this too. All right, so I'm gonna put it up here. This is a very, very heavy piece of steel. This is not a normal piece of tubular steel. It's freaking heavy. All right, so we're gonna go for just over five feet, like five, five foot and three quarters of an inch. So we get it kind of lined up, pull the blade down a bit. Um, and then get it to about where we think we want it to cut. Somewhere in that neighborhood, looks good. Now we're gonna crank this tight, tight so it holds it. Holds that bad boy in place. Okay, you ready? It's gonna be loud. Safety first. Like butter. Look at that. So what's amazing now is normally if you ever use a chop saw to cut anything, you remember that would have taken like 45 minutes, okay? Also, the blade and everything would be glowing red hot. Bare finger. I could touch this. Go ahead, touch it. No, not even warm. I mean, like, actually the only heat is from the sun mm -hmm. making this warm. Can you believe that? Mm -mm. Totally cold and very, very smooth. That's what you get when you cut with a Raptor. Anyway, that's it. See you guys.